Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Good, how was your day? Okay, how was your day? What did you do today? Yeah. We have two questions in the chat. How was your day and what did you do today? How do we answer the first question? The first question, how do we answer? How was your day? Very good, Yaritza. That's one way. My day was very busy. Good. Mm -hmm. Yes. What is another way to answer the question? Go ahead, take a look. What could be another way that we can answer our question? Put in the chat your answers for how was your day and put the answer for what did you do today? Okay, my day was very good. My day was busy. My day was verdad good. Moises? Ah, very good. There you go. Okay, yes. Okay, my day was very good. Okay, perfect, Moises, I got you. <laughs> no problem, okay. Okay, now question number two. Question number two, look, what did you do today? Okay, put your answer, what did you do today? Go ahead, Anna, I can't hear you, you can speak. Ah, good, Anna, okay. So to sleep late and watch Netflix, nice, good. Remember, when we talk about the past, we change the verb for past. Good, Crisia, okay. Remember, Crisia, when we talk about the past, we put the verb in past. For example, you say, I worked. And this is important when you speak to remember also to make sure that you pronounce the past tense of those words. Okay. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Eric. Okay. So, good evening. good evening, Adela. So, we're going to continue. And today, we are continuing with our topic from yesterday. Yesterday, we were looking at the body parts. We were looking at ah, the head, the nose, the, the eyes, the, the different body parts. Why? Because today, we're going to learn about medication. Medication is the way to say medicine, the medicine that we have. So here we're going to learn some common medications. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn the names of common medications for 
health problems. Let's listen and practice. Common medications. Antacid. Muscle cream. Aspirin. Cough syrup. Cough drops. Cold pills. Eye drops. Now, I would like for you to describe what you take whenever you have a headache. For example, whenever I have a headache, I take aspirin. Whenever I have a cold, I take Give as many examples as you can. Look at the vocabulary from our previous lesson and describe what you take for each illness. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to describe what do you take for the different ailments, for the different problems that you have, okay? So what are some of the different problems we can have? Well, he mentioned headache. Okay. What else can we have? Again, please. What other problems can we have? Okay. So, uh, problems. Mm -hmm. Medical problems. For example, he said. Uh, I don't understand, teacher. Can you explain me, please? Yes. For example, in the chat, we can see in the chat the oh. problems. Mm -hmm. For example, um, backache. Excellent. Very good. Okay, we have backache. Mm -hmm. um, cough. Which one? Cough. 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 Um, sick. Okay, a, a cold or maybe the flu. Uh, uh, temperature. Ah, very good. The fever. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? Diarrhea. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, I, I don't remember how, how to say vomiting in English. It's similar, it's vomit. Vomit, ah, okay. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can see we have a lot of medical problems, right? And we can have many of them. And the idea is we're going to practice with our partners. The partner is, what do you do? What do you do when you have a fever. What do you do when you have a cold? What do you do when you have a backache or a stomachache? Okay. What do you do when you have a diarrhea? So the question, what do you do when you have and the answer is Similar to the video he put down, right? In the video, he gave us the example. Okay. In the video, he says, when. Yeah, let me show you the video one more time so that we can see how we can answer. You see her? Whenever I have, and then the problem. Oh. I take. And what you do? Okay. So we put the same in our answers. We put into the chat. Make sure everybody sees it. Okay. So 
let's practice before we go to our groups. Okay, let's practice. So, Adela, ask Ana Beatriz the question. What do you do, Ana Beatriz? Uh -huh. But you need to give information. What do you do when you have diarrhea? What do you do when you have a fever? What do you do? Mm -hmm. um, what do you What do you do in work? Look in the chat, Adela. Look in the chat. Okay. I think yeah. you are confused. You look in the chat, and you're going to see. Okay, Adela, try again the question. Ask, uh, ask her again. Mm, good idea, Adela, but no, we are not looking for action. We're looking for uh, when you are sick. The topic is when you are sick or illness. That's why we have the headache, the stomachache, the backache, all of those sicknesses. Let's try another one. Crisia, Crisia, ask Ana Beatriz. Okay, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do when you have fever? Correct. That's a good question. What do you do when you have a fever? Mm -hmm. how, how do you say? Whenever? Yes, it's in the chat. Remember, it's in the chat. Whenever? Whenever. whenever. Have a uh, take acetaminophen? No, almost, almost. Whenever I have a fever. I have oh, a fever. I take aspirin. Aspirin, acetaminophen. acetaminophen. Yes, okay, no problem. Yes, that's correct. Let's try one more example and then we practice in the group. One more example. Jocelyn, ask Atilio. Okay. Um, Atilio, what do you do when you have flu? Mm -hmm. uh, what do you do? Uh, Atilio, you need to answer the question. Answer the question, Atilio. What, what do you mean? No. No, Atilio, look in the chat. Look in the chat, Atilio. Yeah, what do you need to do? Uh, Uh, no, no, Atilio. Okay, let's try another one. Um, let's see. Jocelyn, ask Alexander. Atilio, listen to Alexander answer. Jocelyn, ask Alexander. Okay, uh, Alexander, what do you do when you have flu? Okay, when I when I have flu and go to the bed. <laughs> go, I go to bed. I go to bed. I go to bed, okay. Correct. Bed. Yes, and this is like in the chat. Whenever I have the flu, I go to bed. Okay. Okay. Atilio, is okay? Uh, what do you know flu? Is okay. 
repeat that thing, Leo? What, what, what you need to is to plus. Oh, the question, so, so, Atilio, remember, look in the chat, the question, what do you do when you have, and then the problem, what do you do when you have a cold? What do you do when you have a cough? The different problems. Okay? So, now we're going to practice with our partners. So, with our partners, we're going to have five minutes and you want to make five questions and five answers. Five questions and five answers with your partners. What, what do you include? What, what do?
any questions? Teacher, cuando alguien me pregunta, digamos, ¿qué hago cuando yo tengo fiebre? Yo puedo decir, I, whenever I have fever, I go, I take a rest. Uh, no, no, I take a rest, I rest. Oh, pero no puedo decir, I take a, I take rest. No, no take a rest. Rest, porque rest es un verbo, entonces. Uh -huh. Take to rest. No, rest es un verbo y ya tenés take. Take es tomar, tomás medicamento, tomás el, la, la medicina, tomás pastillas, tomás, I take. Pero si no vas a tomar algo, es la otra acción. I rest, I sleep, I watch TV. Uh -huh. I drink, drink coffee, I drink tea. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, gracias. Tenía esa duda. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Good question, Eric. Good question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Teacher. Yes, Jocelyn. What is the meaning of rest? The meaning of? Rest. Rest. Eh, eh, Eric, say you. Descanso. Okay? Es descanso. Ah, Rest, ah, descanso. ah, ah, yes, yes, yes. I put okay, it. thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Yeah. Rest. The pronunciation is rest. Okay. It's okay. Yeah, teacher. Good. So what do you need to do? Well, here in your home, you need to listen to 2.4 for homework. Listen to 2.4 and the conversation. What is the problem? Is the problem the head, the neck, the back, the tooth? You listen and select for the conversation. What is the problem? Okay. That's going to help you for your listening. This is for 2.4, 2.4. Now we continue, okay? Now we're going to imagine we go to the doctors and in the doctors, we're going to listen for the doctor's information. The doctor give the instructions. Here, let's listen to the instructions. Remember here is in Spanish. If it's difficult for you to understand, here is the Spanish, or listen here in English. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn how to use positive and negative imperatives. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Don't Work Too Hard. Let's listen and practice. Don't work too hard. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. The conversation that we just heard illustrates the conversation between a doctor and a patient. Typically, whenever we are sick and we go to the doctor, we're going to receive instructions from the doctor so that we can get better. We use imperatives to give instructions. Imperatives. Take a pill every four hours. Rest in bed. Drink lots of juice. Don't work too hard. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. To form imperatives is very simple. Just add the verb, 
no subject is necessary, then a complement. On the left-hand side of the chart, we can see positive imperatives. Let's analyze them. Take a pill every four hours. The verb is take. The complement is a pill every four hours. On the right-hand side of the chart, you can see negative imperatives. Don't work too hard. In this case, we're going to follow this next formula. Don't plus verb plus complement. Don't work is the verb and the complement too hard. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Think of the advice or instructions that you or your doctor gives whenever you have some kind of illness. For example, if you have a cold, take cough syrup, don't drink cold drinks. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. So we can see the most important is on the this. right hand how to make the instructions from the doctor. Oh. What do you do when you have a fever? Ah, the doctor, the doctor says, ah, rest in bed. Oh, what do you do if you have a cough? <laughs> the doctor says, ah, drink lots of juice or drink the medicine. This is the idea, okay? Is the instructions, it's okay? Okay. Any questions? No questions? No question, teacher. Okay, excellent. Then what are we going to do? With our partner, with a partner, we have two things. One, we're going to practice the conversation. So my partner, Dr. Young, and I, Ms. West, and we read and practice the conversation. And then number two, I change. Then I am Dr. Young, and my partner is Ms. West. Okay. I, I put into the WhatsApp to be clear that you can read. Okay, so with our partners, we're going to practice the conversation. This is number one. Let's try. Teacher, me quedé afuera. Ay, ya lo resolvemos. No, ok. No problem, Verónica.
Okay. Any questions? No, teacher. No? No. no. Question, teacher. It's okay? Good. Okay. Of course. Okay. Okay. Dora, it's okay? Dora? Ahorita me estoy como, bueno, good night. Eh, ahorita me estoy como adaptando porque es mi primera clase, entonces eh, estoy tratando de comprender qué es lo que están haciendo y, y eso. Ok, Dora. Así te vi la cara de, de mm, tengo dudas, pero me da mucha pena y no voy a aprender por no preguntar. <risa> no, sí soy bien preguntona, pero eh, quiero como conocer... Eh, en qué están y todo eso, ¿eh? y luego voy a preguntar un montón. <laughs> ok, Dora, ok. Perfecto. Ok. Now we are going to practice. Thank you, Dora. Now we are going to practice with the partner, the platform. The platform is 2.9. 2.9. Okay. In 2.9, we have many actions. We have call. T. Let me put a tilio there. Okay. We have call, see, stay, take, don't go, don't worry, don't drink, don't eat. Okay. Primero, ¿entienden qué significa todo esto? It's okay, all of these actions. Uh, yes. Algunas sí, otras no. Ok, which one, Dora? Sí, son verbos, ¿verdad? Correct, correct, Dora. Call, llamar, sí, ver, stay, tener. No, stay, stay. Stay es estar. Correct. What does this mean? Don't go. Take. Tomar. Correct. Don't go, no vayas. No vayas. Uh -huh. No tomas o no tomes. Don't drink. Uh -huh. No comas. Uh -huh. Don't eat. Sí, ver. Don't worry. Don't, no, te no te preocupes. Ok. Very good. Okay. So now... With the partners, you are going to complete the sentences. Now with your partner in the, in the platform 2.9, you are going to complete eight sentences. Hi everyone, in this class you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for main ideas. By reading and discussing an article about how to improve your health. 10 simple ways to improve your health. Believe it or not, you can greatly improve your health in 10 simple ways. 1. Eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. 2. Go for a walk. Walking is good exercise, and exercise is necessary for good health. 3. Floss your teeth. Don't just brush them. Flossing keeps your gums healthy. 4. Drink 8 cups of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. 5. Stretch for 5 minutes. Stretching is important for your muscles. 6. 
Wear a seat belt. Every year, seat belts save thousands of lives. Seven, do something to challenge your brain. For example, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. Eight, protect your skin. Use lots of moisturizer and sunscreen. Nine, get enough calcium. Your bones need it. Dairy foods like yogurt, milk, and cheese have calcium. Ten, take a time out, a break of about 20 minutes. Do something different. For example, get up and walk, or sit down and listen to music. Okay, let's try to answer together. Number one, what is number one? A dentist, what's number one? Call. 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 Okay, call a dentist. Okay, what about number two? What is- Don't worry. Don't, Don't worry. worry. Okay, Don't worry. Don't worry. Number three? Doing cake, 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 Stay in bed. Good. Number six. See. See a doctor. See a doctor. Number seven. Don't, don't drink. drink. Don't drink. Okay. Don't drink coffee. And number eight. Don't eat. Don't eat. Don't eat any candy. Don't eat any candy. Okay, excellent, excellent job. Okay, very good. Any questions? No teacher. No. Okay. Silvio, ¿tenés un radio o algo encendido por tu compu? Se escucha mucho interferencia. Era un ventilador, pero es, 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 ahora sí. Ah, tal vez es el viento cuando sopla al mismo uh -huh. Ya, ya, ya lo pagué. Pero... Ok. Siempre, siempre escucha, no, no. Sí, sí, sí. Bueno, ya, eh, creo, lo demás. ¿Escuchan el ruido? Sí. Sí, se escucha. Sí, sí, se siempre se escucha, escucha Tilio. Sí, se escucha. No, 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 pues no, no tengo nada más aquí. Okay. Quizás es el micrófono. Pues, Uh -huh. Entonces, a, a ti yo lo que voy a hacer, te voy a poner en silencio y cuando tenés que hablar, solo lo quitas y, y así vamos. Listo. Ok. Listo. Ok. All right. Good. Now, let's continue here. Excellent. Ok. Here, now we continue on for the idea. The next objective is how to learn about how to improve your health. For this is a listening and reading. Here, we are going to listen and read the article. Here is in Spanish. This is for 2.11. After we listen and read, then we're going to answer the questions with information. 
¿Ok? Así que, ¿cuál es lo importante? Primero vamos a escuchar y leer. Si hay algo que no saben o no les quedó claro, pregunten, porque después tienen que contestar preguntas de lo que hemos escuchado y leído. Let me see. All right. Let's listen. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for main ideas by reading and discussing an article about how to improve your health. 10 simple ways to improve your health. Believe it or not, you can greatly improve your health in 10 simple ways. 1. Eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. 2. Go for a walk. Walking is good exercise, and exercise is necessary for good health. 3. Floss your teeth. Don't just brush them. Flossing keeps your gums healthy. 4. Drink 8 cups of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. 5. Stretch for 5 minutes. Stretching is important for your muscles. 6. Wear a seat belt. Every year, seat belts save thousands of lives. 7. Do something to challenge your brain. For example, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. 8. Protect your skin. Use lots of moisturizer and sunscreen. 9. Get enough calcium. Your bones need it. Dairy foods, like yogurt, milk, and cheese, have calcium. 10. Take a time out. A break of about 20 minutes. Do something different. For example, get up and walk. Or sit down and listen to music. Okay. Now that we heard the 10 activities, and we heard the pronunciation, you and your partner have the opportunity to read. ¿Qué van a hacer? Primero van a leer despacio con su compañero one and one, okay? For example, Dora, read number one. Eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy, energy for the morning. Okay, good. And then I read number two, okay? So first we read the 10. Then we answer the questions. To get exercise, what is necessary in the article? To help your bones, what is the recommendation? And then we answer the six sentences, okay? Está claro lo que van a hacer? It's okay? Yes, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. No se preocupen de que lo pronuncien bien o lo pronuncien mal. Es el esfuerzo, es de ir quitándose el miedo de que, ay, lo voy a decir mal, ay, no lo puedo decir, ay, yo no sé cómo. No, no se preocupen. Es importante que hagan el esfuerzo. Por eso es uno y uno, uno y uno, para que cada persona puede practicar bastante. We are ready? Yes. Yes? Okay, let me see. For this, we have more time so that we can read and we can answer.
Okay, let's try and answer. Grecia, what's number one? Go for a walk. 
Okay, go for a walk. Okay, good. Ana Beatriz, what's number two? Number two bombs uh, seria get enough calcium. Get enough calcium. Okay, good. Atilo, what is number three? Atilio, number three. El micrófono, quizás. Ajá. Ya, ya. Ok. Sería, where, where is this rat bit? Where the seat belt? Este. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Adela, what's number four? Number four is flush your teeth. Right? Uh, flush your teeth. Flush. Okay. Flush your teeth. Flush your teeth. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Good. Dora, what's number five? Dora? El micrófono lo tiene apagado. Uh -huh. Pero ella no está hablando porque no, no, no se le ve la boca también. ¿Cómo no? ¿Cómo no? Sí. Sí, estaba hablando. Solo la sonrisa. Uh -huh, ¡Dora! Le... Uh -huh. Ah, al fin me funcionó. Ok. Eh, las... Five. Number five. Yes, Dora. For a walk. For a walk. Okay. Good. Ruth, number six. Uh, don't on the ground walk. Who play on the red and new walk. Okay. Okay. Let's check the answers. Mm -hmm. Let's see how we did. Ah, we have mistakes. Look, number five, not correct. And number three is not correct. Number five was, uh, eat, eat, eat a brief breakfast, a brief exactly. Breakfast. Okay. And number three, to help it your muscles. Go for five Stretch for five minutes. Yes. Let's what is check. a stretch? Estirar, stretch. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So stretch for five minutes, like yoga. Ah, that is correct. Those are the correct answers. Okay. Any questions? No question. No question. A teacher. Or ah. clear or clean Thanks. like water. Excellent, Eric. Excellent. So today we finish unit two. We finish unit two. Monday we begin unit three. Remember for homework, the homework is 2.4. 2.4, the listening. Listen to the conversation and the questions. Teacher, okay. how, how much unit we have? We have five units. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. Good question, Atilio. Para los que son nuevos o los que no están seguros, es... Let me put one moment in my phone. Okay. Para los que no, no saben, eh, la otra semana terminamos la unidad tres. Pero 
la otra semana también tenemos un examen que es de la unidad 1, 2 y 3. Por eso es que es necesario que este fin de semana estén al día en plataforma hasta la unidad 2. Porque el lunes vamos a empezar la unidad 3 y vamos a ver la 3 y vamos a hacer, vamos a ver el examen final. Bueno, perdón, el examen de la unidad 1, 2 y 3, no el examen final, sino que el examen de medio ciclo. Y para este fin, lo que no han hecho, la, uni, la lección 2.4, el listening, de qué es el problema y ahí van a seleccionar. Ok. 2.4. Listen okay. and select. Any questions? No. Which question? No. No question. No. no. Okay. No teacher. Th thank you. Thank you for coming to class. Thank you. Have a good weekend. And I see you next week. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.